Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you the best S Microsoft Project tips for project beginners. Okay, so now let's get started. Let me open Microsoft Project on my PC. Okay, and the current version I'm using here is 2019. Okay, and first is when you are using Microsoft Project. Uh, to create the project plan and manage the project in the future. So, you should understand uh, some of the, uh, I mean, some of the basic steps before we do some of the, uh, uh, before we do creating the project plans for the project. Okay, the first one, I think we need to do some of the define project start date. Okay, it is very important thing. I mean, when we do some starting, creating, when we do some start to create the project plan, we need to know the start date for the project. So, you need to setting it first. Okay. In order to setting the project starting date, you just go ahead and click on project. Project information. And here, in the project information pop-up, we have the start date. Okay. Just go ahead to click on start date. For example, if I select this project, we will be uh, st starting on the uh, 19, 19 October 2020. Okay, click on OK button. Okay. This is the first step. Okay, and the second step, you should, okay, you should, should change the default setting of task or when you, when you create new task. From the manually schedules to the to the auto schedule, okay. So here you navigate to the bottom of the left hand side. By default, when you create a new project plan for the project, the new task will be selected manually scheduled task. Okay. So when you see when when you when you set the manually scheduled task for all of the tasks in your project, so it will be very difficult for you to manage the, uh, the, 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 the timeline for your project. For, for example, uh, when you create the first task and also the second task, if you put on of the first task and second task in the uh, manually schedule, so the completed best for your project in us uh, auto schedule in us. When you increase the list for the first task, so the second, uh, the list of second task will not be be added beyond the first list. Okay, so here you have to change it from the manually to auto schedule. Okay, and the the first the first one will be the project calendar setting. Okay, you go to the project tab and click on change working mm -hmm. time. <coughs> Okay, so by default, the Microsoft project it will be support for three three project calendar. It is the first one is standards. Okay, the second one will be the forty hour, and the third one is night shift. Okay, so if you think this default project calendar is not fit with your expectation, so you just go ahead through some customization. By adding a new one calendar for the project, okay. I have, I have other, I have other project. Uh, I have uh, other video to show you how to do some customization for the project. Uh, in this series, so you can go ahead to see it in other video. Okay. Basically, just go ahead to click on the curious new calendar button here, and then you do some cut customization okay and the next point number four will be carrying all of the tasks for the project for example i have that number one that's one that's two let me copy it Something like this. Okay. So, 
after you graduate all of the tasks for your project, you shouldn't, okay, please shouldn't, shouldn't add the duration for your project, okay, and we, we, we should do it later on, after we finish creating all of the task list for your project, okay, and then the next one, you, the number five, you should identify the work breakdown structure for your project, Planning. Okay, so here I can go ahead to add new column, call it e WBS. <coughs> okay, so here I make it to the top. Okay, first column. Okay, <coughs> so here WBS means work breakdown structure. You can see the level of the project a task in the project. So here, for example, I have some the, okay, so this is WBS, and the next one, you should have some the relationship between each task here. Okay, so, let me make some the changes here. For example, we have some task, B is the child task of the task number one. Same thing here. Okay, and then for now we have, we also have all of the tasks listed here, and then we have some the duration, adding some duration, I mean estimation for each task. Something like this, okay. And the number four, you have to do some the setting for relationship between each task. Okay, okay. So, for example, in the task number one here, we have, uh, okay, so after that, you see here, when we have some child task in the, in each task here, this one will be parent. This one is parent. This is only parent. And so task here will be the child task. You can also see the WBS, there are the level number one, level number two, okay. And in case, if you have other tasks in level number three, yep, yeah, like this, okay, level three, save it, okay. So now here, for example, we should identify the relationship for each task in our project. Okay, so for task number two, yeah, it will be completed first, and then we will work on the task number uh, 1.2 here. So, that means I have the two here. You can also see the uh, some the progress in the gun chart on the right hand. Okay, number three, Okay. For example, okay, you can select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then you go to the task on the navi uh, on the menus, and then navigate to the schedule section. In the schedule section, we have a link button here. Okay. So, after you setting some the relationship for each task in your project, so. The duration, I mean, or, or the finished days for each task here, we will auto setting, auto adjustment for our project plan. Okay, because uh, before we do some the uh, uh, setting relationship for each task, uh, we already have the, uh, we already do some setting for new task in our project, changing it from manually to automatic, uh, auto schedule. So, when we setting it out to schedule, when we have any relationship between each task, the, uh, uh, the, the task will be out to adjust the duration and also the timeline. Okay. No, no, it only adjusts the timeline, not the duration, because the duration is already fixed. Okay. The same thing here. Okay.
Okay, cool. Okay, you have just finished the fifth point number six and the point number seven. You have to identify the resources in the project and then you assign the task into some specific version. Okay, so for example, here for the task number one, I will be assigned to the member one. Member one. Okay. Task number two, I will assign it to that member number two. Okay, member three. Okay. The last one. The, the last one you should know. We after we do some this setting and we also finish uh, our assign the people, the, the assign the task to some specific person in the project. And you also get approved this, this project timeline. From the management show, you need to do the you, you need to create a set by line version for it. Okay, so because when you do the by line, you will be have a, an uh, uh, ori uh, original version of the project plan, and then during the execution phase and uh, at the end of project, so you will have a version to do some the comparison between the actor and the planning. To see the difference, the variance between the path, the work, the cost, or everything in the project. Okay. Okay, okay. Should I here follow me to do the setting, the byline for the project? Select the project tab and go to set byline. Click on set byline button. Okay. And basically, Microsoft Project, it will be allows you to do. Uh, 11 version for the bylines in the project. So now, just go ahead to see like uh, to, to do the bylines for entire the project. Entire project means you do the bylines for everything: the task list, duration, the resources, uh, the assignment, or uh, everything in the project. Okay, okay. So okay, so you have the finished for 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 important point before. Uh, you starting to work on any uh, any new project planning by using Microsoft Project. Okay, so let me wrap it up. The first point we should uh, we have to define project start date. Okay, the uh, point number two, you have to change the default task uh, setting from the menu manually to auto schedule. Okay, so my point number three is. You have to define or identify the project calendar for the project. Okay, this one is very important, you know. So when you define the project calendar, you should also include some of the holiday. I mean the public holiday in some countries. Okay, and number four, you have to define and list out all of the tasks in the project into the project plan. Okay, the so task number five, you should also identify the WBS a work breakdown structure in your project. Okay, I mean you have to identify how many layers in your project. We need to do merits or something like that. Okay, the point number six, you have to identify or uh, define the relationship between each task in your project. Okay, this one is very important. You know, okay, when we do uh, the setting for relationship. We need to know the predecessor and successor task in the project. Okay, so when we identify the the the, the uh, predecessor task for current task, so the successor task will be auto adjust if you already change the uh, new task from the manually to to to, to automatically schedule in the point number two. Okay, and the point number seven, you have to assign that to some specific member in your project. And the, the, the last point, eight, is you have to do some of the bylines for your project because in the next time, you need to do some of the comparison between planning from the byline with actual execution. Okay, so I think that's all for today.
And after you finish this video today, I think you already know some uh, some important points when you are using the Microsoft Project to manage the project. Okay, so I think this one will be helpful for the beginner, but it also very helpful for other uh, professional people, project manager. Okay, hope the video will be helpful for you. Let me know if you see any issue or you if you have any question, please go ahead to put it into the into the comment of this project. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you later in other videos.